Hello, Father. Come on in. Have a seat. Thank you. How have you been, Dennis? I noticed you haven't been coming to Mass since your mother passed. I read somewhere that it's normal to feel resentment towards God after you lose someone as close to you, Father. I think that's what happened to me. That's perfectly understandable, Dennis. People grieve in their own ways. That money, Father. That donation I made. That was the inheritance I got from my mother. I thought I'd make it right by donating it to the church. And I think... I think Mother would have wanted that too. Dennis, I'm here because when we receive a donation as large as this, it's my job to make sure it wasn't an accident. Church policy. If I can be honest with you, Father, that's really the real reason why I donated that money. I was hoping you'd come here yourself in person and I could talk to you. So then, the money? No, no, no need to worry, Father. This isn't some kind of trick. The money belongs to the church now and I wanted to stay that way. But you could have just met an appointment, Dennis. I would have come free of charge. It's my job. Yeah. Well, I suppose I knew that already, Father. It's just that... Well, my head's not in that clear of a space. And I need... I need to confess, Father. A confession? Well, that's no trouble, Dennis. I provide that service for the elderly in their homes. Why not in your home, too? You can start in your own time. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. It has been two years since my last confession. And these are my sins. In your own time, Dennis. There's no rush. Father, I've done something bad. Very bad. I used to go to this pier, Father. I used to go there to clear my head. Sometimes I'd even think about just going into the ocean, letting it drag me down to its bottom. You did it? No. I did something much worse, Father. When I was on that pier, there was this girl jogging on the sand. As she ran under the pier, she stopped and gave me this look. The kind of look that a girl wouldn't really ever give to a man like me, Father. I watched her as she kept jogging, and for the first time since Mother died, I felt something. Some time after that, I went to the gun store for some hunting supplies, and there she was, working the cash register. I didn't really say anything to her father. I was too nervous I could barely look at her in the eye. But I would come back there. I would park across the streets at lunchtime just to watch her. Sometimes she'd be smoking or on her phone texting her friends. Maybe her boyfriend, I'd wonder. That kind of went on for months, Father. I knew I could never ask her out. And the longer I kept it up, the more I fell back into that dark place where I started having those dark thoughts again, Father. Eventually, the day came where I said to myself, this is the day I'm going to kill myself, Father. But I had convinced myself somehow that she needed to come with me. I suppose because I was scared to die alone. I needed her to die too. Forgive me, God. But I did. Where is this girl now, Dennis? She's in the garage. But please, Father, let me finish. Go on. I got Mother's stun gun that she used to carry around with her. I waited outside the gun store for her to finish. I didn't even know her name, Father. I was going to sneak up on her before she could get into her car. 
But it didn't happen that way, Father. I could hear commotion. It turned out she was in the middle of being mugged by some out-of-towner. I couldn't believe it, Father. I felt this need to save her. It was like this was God intervening after I had turned my back on him. This was my second chance. So I went around the other side of the store. I stunned him right in front of her. Little Katie Reynolds? Yes, Father. That's her. You know her, don't you? Yes. I had heard she was saved from a mugger, but I didn't know you had saved her, Dennis. I think maybe she saved me, Father. We became close after that day. Stared at Dayton. We did everything together, Father. Told each other everything. And she helped me get out of that bad place. Of course, I never told her the real reason I was out there that night. She thinks I was just out for a walk and happened to be carrying a stun gun. We're engaged now, Father. Well, Dennis. For these and all your sins, I absolve you from guilt in the name of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God. Say ten our fathers and ten Hail Marys for your penance, and go in peace to love and serve our Lord. Amen. Thank you, Father. It feels like a weight has been lifted from my chest, and I think you'll feel the same after you've had your confession, Father. out loud all the things you did to Casey. I won't lie to you, Father. I'm going to kill you whether you confess or not. But if you do confess, I'll use the gun and it'll be quick. If you don't, not only will you risk being sent straight to hell, but I'll make sure you're screaming on your way. So, let's begin. <laughs> 